Let's start with why lambdas. What are the advantages that lambdas bring to the table? I cannot go into the detail of all these advantages because really understanding the benefits of lambda requires an understanding of lambda itself. So I'm going to just list these points and you're going to have to trust me on this. As we learn more about lambdas, a lot of what I've talked about in this slide kind of makes sense. So the first biggest advantage of lambdas is that it enables functional programming. This is the paradigm shift that I was talking about. We are used to writing object-oriented programs in Java. Lambdas enable us to write functional programming in Java. I'll cover what the difference is and why do we even need to do it in a little bit. The second advantage is you get some readable and concise code when you use lambdas in certain situations, of course. Uh, lambdas really kind of uh, eliminate some of the boilerplate code that we would have to write in certain scenarios. And again, this is something that we're going to look at later. Uh, it also enables to us to write uh, better APIs and libraries, which are easier to use. And it also enables support for parallel processing, which is a big thing in this day and age. Uh, pretty much every other processor is a multi-core processor in this, uh, in this current time. So having support for parallel processing, being able to write better code that runs on parallel processors is a big deal. And uh, you can actually have that happen easily using Lambda expressions. There are much more advantages to Lambdas, but these are some of the important ones. And again, I know that I haven't covered any of these in detail. You will understand how these are actually an advantage once you learn what Lambdas are and how they even look like.